Okay, okay folks, what we want to talk about today is a hard start kit. And I want to show you the brand that we actually use. We use the 521 compressor saver. I try not to use the little two wire system because it doesn't provide the additional time delay on the relay. Okay? So here's what we got. I want to talk to you about the advantages of the hard start kit. The advantages are just so you know, your compressor might start and stop as many as 10,000 times in a year. The compressor burns about 4,500 watts of energy every time it's on. So every time the compressor comes on, it takes about two, six, maybe ten times the amount of current to start this compressor as it does to run it. So a lot of times these compressors, after several years of starting to stop and start stopping, they get weak. So they need a supplemental power booster, okay? And that's where this hard start kit comes in. Now, we've got three wires here. And it will go over the diagram, and I'll show you the diagram here just to uh, show what I'm talking about. You know, as you look here, this is a dual capacitor system, which means we have the fan part of the capacitor. This is the common. The common always has two wires on it. And this is the herm. The herm usually has one wire, and it could be an orange, purple, or red color. So here's what you got. Since we're going to be doing the dual capacitor system, we're going to take red wire it goes on common of the capacitor we're going to take the yellow wire with the stripes and put on the herm of the capacitor and we're going to take the black wire and we're going to tie it to T1 of the relay now what I like to do on my T1s if you look here this is I usually put it on the black okay now notice don't have a terminal here, but I am going to put it here on the on the black side of the terminal, okay? So now, let's talk about how to go about hooking this up. First thing you want to do is shut the power off. You can't do this hot, okay? You see the little bit of space that you have in here, so what we'll do, we'll actually, we'll actually put some tape on this end here. This is all for safety and precautionary for the future techs that may come over here. And we'll mount this right here. We'll also strap it down. We'll have a some kind of a black strap. We'll run it through here. We will take this relay here and we will strap screw it down right here, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and wire the unit up for you, okay? Hand me the middle of this. Okay, so I'm gonna take my needle nose and I'm going to take my herm wire. And if you look real close on the capacitor, it'll always identify itself. <laughs> will always identify itself. Okay, Herm. So I'm going to put this on Herm. Okay. Now I'm going to put the red wire on common. And then I'm going to end up having to cut this black wire off here to put under my common screw, but that's the gist of how do you put this on. So folks, I'm going to tell you, take your time, fasten this stuff in good, that's how you wire it, there's really nothing to it. If you have any questions on how to hook up a hard start kit or the benefits of a hard start kit or why you should have a hard start kit, just call us at Jones Air Conditioning, 239. 596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com and if you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.